Hello, this is Jesse Rivas, and I'm driving back from a friend's house, and I thought I'd talk about something that I learned or we discussed. <clears throat> so a lot of times people have this, this confusion over forgiveness, and how to forgive one another, or how to love one another. I talking to my friend, and she was saying that she feels like she needed help forgiving this certain individual who has wronged her, um, just don't want to go into details, but definitely has, you know, wronged her, and, and you know, as we all have been, and there's certain people in our lives that have wronged us, and we just can't forgive them, or so we say. And so she says, I think she thinks that God, she needs to be asking God for help to forgive. And I was just talking about something that I feel that God is showing me, and I just wanted to share with you and see who thinks it's, it's right or if it's on the right track. So my theory is that when we forgive people, that is, it's, it's done. Like we, we don't need to, I don't know, do anything more than say, God, I forgive you. I'm sorry, God, I, I forgive the person. Uh, maybe you forgive God, you know, on different things. Like, we forgive them. That's an act of, from our will that we do to forgive that person. And that is sufficient and is done. Um, the reason why I say this is because a lot of times people think that they are scared that if they don't forgive that person, then God won't forgive us. The Bible says that, that, you know, we, God will only forgive those um, who forgive others. Or God, you know. And so there's a fear that if we keep having this pain of unforgiveness in our heart that we haven't actually forgiven that person. But I think that we have. I think that when when we forgive somebody, we remove that that forgiveness, that unforgiveness from inside of us. It's growing and festering, and we put it outside. Now, of course, the enemy, being the dashly fellow that he is, uh, wants to to um, to just mess with us. And so. He will continue to send attacks our way, reminding us of that pain that we had towards that person. And so, yes, I mean, when we forgive somebody, it's not going to be ending. It's not that it doesn't end the battle. It doesn't end the war. It actually, we actually find that we continually fight that. But instead of this being from the inside, it comes from the outside. And at that point, instead of saying, God, why didn't I forgive this person? What, what's wrong with me? We just have to, we just say to the enemy, no, I don't accept this pain. I've forgiven that person and I'm done. And we, you know, we, we continue to move on. It may take hundreds of times of forgiveness, but it doesn't mean that we haven't forgiven them. It just means that we haven't got completely free of the effects of that yet, which may take years. Also, there, there's reality that God doesn't have us forgive all the levels at one point. Let's say forgiveness is multifaceted, and let's say somebody really, really wounds us deeply. We can't really be expected to forgive all the levels at one time, and I don't think that God wants us to. I think that a lot of times my original statement is still, I think, still valid, that we say, I forgive them. And, and that's really sufficient. But let's say down the road, a year goes by, two years go by, or even let's say two, a couple days go by, and, and God says, okay, you've forgiven them, thank you for doing that, but there's a deeper level that they wounded you at that I'm now gonna bring up, and I want you to forgive them again at that level. Now again, even though we didn't forgive them fully, doesn't mean that we are now barred from this forgiveness that God offers. It's just that God, in His grace, wants us to just be happy, and he determines at what levels we forgive. And, and and eventually, we just have to trust him that if we continually forgive the person that wronged us, we continually speak grace over their lives, we continue to show pray for them and show them, show them love, that is in fact sufficient, even though they're still hurt in our lives. And we trust that God will then take that hurt and heal, it, heal us eventually. So... That's my, that's my theory on that, and I would love to hear any kind of feedback. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye.